Sim Sim and today I'm here at Beijing South Railway Station because I am going to be taking one of China's high-speed trains down to Shanghai. I'm going to be working on it. So it should be quite an interesting experience. Let's go! Different uniform today. I just caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. Look a little bit like Mary Poppins. And today I'm helping to serve food. Um, so let's see how that goes. Ah, mm -hmm. Very hygienic. Ah, let's see. Here. Oh, wait. No, that's your sheet. Oh, very sorry. This is your mom. Yeah. Oh, very sorry. 我第一天 <laughs> There's a bit of a confusion between the uh, orders and the food that was delivering so I or delivered the wrong food to two people so second delivery and I'm already getting it wrong So one thing on Chinese bullet trains is that you can also order food and it will be delivered at the next station and uh, so now we're going to go pick it up Obviously, when passengers see you pass by, they've got lots of other questions. When do we arrive in Beijing? Uh, need to ask my colleague. Where's the power outlet to charge my phone? I'll get back to you on that. Hopefully, by the end of this trip, I will be able to answer all the questions that passengers have. <laughs> Pijo. Audi. work serving the food the warm food and then you're bringing around the trolley now there's I think the second round of food being prepared and you're on your feet the whole time the last three hours have gone by in a flash because you just don't have time to think or to rest or do anything else but it's interesting work but it's very very busy it's the busy busiest I've been so far I've been doing everything is color-coded the blue mop is for the bathroom the purple mop is for the rest of the carriages Second day of work today. I think I have to work at a help desk. A little bit of training involved this time. We'll see how that goes. Is this new? I've never seen this before. There are indications outside the toilet which toilets are free and which ones are, are busy so you can tell already if you need to queue or not. I've never seen this before. This is really top of the line ultra modern. Um, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Strategically placed so you can't miss it when you first come in. Signs are very well posted everywhere in the station. Screens everywhere to tell you like, when your train is leaving and from which gate. Technically you don't need the help desk. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Right, yeah. No problem. Welcome to Shanghai! <laughs> there are moments of downtime when there's nobody coming and you're sort of waiting for somebody to come and suddenly 10 people arrive at the same time. 
，上海站。这是上海站，不是上海虹桥。走错站了，来错火车站。我们在上海虹桥。啊 Technically, you don't need the help desk. You don't need the help desk. It gets a little bit panicky, so you have to be very careful and read everything that's on your ticket or when you book, know exactly where you are going. How many passengers? One hundred eighty thousand. Wow! Spring Festival. Three hundred thousand. Three hundred. Yes. You worked on Spring Festival this year. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. What was it like? I'm on duty on Chuxi, so I will. Send all those passengers home, but I have to stay here、oh. to look, look around. But it's my job. It's challenging, but it's also nice because the train in China is also a car for nation. I think it, I would be more proud and proud to walk in here. Back to civilian clothes. It feels strange. My shift is over. It was definitely an interesting experience working on a Chinese bullet train at、uh, and at Hongxiao train station in Shanghai.、Um, I think. I'm going to see Chinese bullet trains and traveling on a Chinese bullet train in a completely different light from now on. And、uh, the next time I take one of these trains, I'm going to have a much better appreciation of of the people who are working here. So it was a very good learning experience.